talk about pressure. You're like the best, the, the best individuals we know, the best athletes, they perform under pressure at a consistent level. They don't have these tremendous big highs. They don't have these lows. Um, they maintain a level of consistent play that that's why they're selected. And so for you, what drove your confidence, especially in the bigger games? I mean, winning cup with, with Cardiff playing in the world cups, um, you know, what, what were the things leading up to matches that gave you the confidence to go express yourself? My routine was always the same. And that was kind of something I really worked on. Um, and I think every young athletes kind of can fall victim to their own sort of, you know, superstitions and things they think might work and help them get right and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Like the playlist has got to be all sorts of different things. And, and like, I need to have the right, you know, combination of creatine and caffeine and all that kind of stuff. And, and so I, I, I slowly started to work through all that and then identify like what, my week looked like right from yeah. energy management to like what I need to get on extras. I way overtrained when I was young, like every young athlete kind of does um, that wants to be good um, and sort of, you know, figured out how to time my run to the best of my ability, figured out that just you know, sort of body maintenance care piece. So I was doing that all the way throughout the week to make sure that like I was 100% ready for the weekend. And then I also organized my life around the game right like everything i did in the build-up was about performing on saturday um and recovering from the weeks of training and recovering from the week before and so i was good to go uh and slowly start to reduce distractions throughout the week start eliminating you know extracurricular activities that weren't necessary um and then on game day i just i had my my sheet of paper with all my different cues that I wanted. I had a full, I, every week I wrote my list out prior to the game. Um, you know, that was kind of like, you know, my equivalent to the talking points if I was giving a speech or whatever, I knew like all the plays knew what they were going to run and also what my individual stuff that I was going to bring to the table. Um, and then it was about building my emotional bonfire up for, for the contest. So, um, I, and I could, I could replicate that every week. So it wasn't really a difference. Like, like everyone talks about pressure as privilege means you're in like a meaningful contest and all that stuff. But you know, I always viewed it as like every game was pressure and should be yep. right. Like there yep. should be pressure to perform every week. Um, because like, that's how you earn respect. That's how you keep your job. That's like what's expected. If you're a world-class player is that anytime, anywhere you can show up and be world-class. Um, and yeah, as an American overseas, I was always playing for a job because yep. there's very few contracts available for overseas players. And I was competing against Wallabies and all blacks and all those players every week, whether they are on the field or not, because they were probably coming for my contract next year. 